Hey, y'all. Uh, let me see if I can. <clears throat> there we go. <laughs> All right. Uh, let me see if I can find myself on my own channel so I can see comments. <clears throat> All right. I'm still drinking some coffee. I had to wait for my phone to charge up because I'm not. Wait, where's my channel? I had to wait for my phone to charge up. I don't know what happened, but for some reason I, uh, oops, I don't to do that. For some reason, my phone was like on very low power. But anyway, here I am. Yay, good morning. So I think today I feel like working on some faces. I've been trying to to kind of decide what my style is for faces. And I think it's, I have two schools of thought um, in general. I like the little bitty eyes that show the facial features, but I also like doing big, big eyes. Uh, let's see if I can, here's another one that I started. So I've been practicing faces a little bit. Um, and I think I'm going to go back and do some of that. And I think I want to play with this pen, which is actually a brush. Let me show you. So this is a this is a journal I started in Taos in 2022. Actually, right before Taos, because I had sent these out to everybody who was participating in my class, and then I decided that that for the class that such a big journal was a little intimidating. So I moved to send it and everybody just the smaller single signature notebook journal. And I was able to use some thicker watercolor paper. And, and I, I have one that I had worked on last year in Taos. And of course, I don't know where it is right now because I need to clean my studio in a really bad kind of way. Anyway, all right, so yes, today I'm going to work on some faces. Um, and a lot of times faces just pop out for me. And I have a lot of pages to play with here. And again, I'm going to use this really bold pen. And I'm going to show you guys what this bold pen looks like. Not in my journal right now, but here. So it's a really fluid brush pen. It's Japanese. I am pretty sure it's used for like Japanese calligraphy kind of stuff. I could be wrong anyway, but I, I really love this pen and I like trying to do line work with it. Even though a lot of times I love using, you know, my, uh, excuse me, my Sharpie. This little bitty thin Sharpie. Well, this is actually a medium sized tip. I like that um, better than the super fine ones. Good morning, Bee Lady. Good morning. Five, five, five today. You're coming in loud and clear. <laughs> Yay, I know. I have a brand new microphone because. The other day, I dropped my phone on my other microphone, and it bent it and broke it. <laughs> so, brand new microphone, and it works way freaking better. So anyway, thanks for sticking with me. I know it's one thing to have bad picture quality, but sound quality is, is, is a non-starter for most people. So anyway, so I'm going to practice working with this pen a little bit, and dare to mess up some of my pages um anyway i know right <laughs> i know it was so awful and and i tell you too i have this this metal extension arm that i just love to use for for filming on my desk um and but if i'm using the microphone directly connected to the phone, it just vibrates off the springs. 
<laughs> it sounds terrible. Anyway, so yay. Yes, much better sound now. So I had, was forced to get a new microphone. I had It's not a very expensive microphone, but it seems to be doing the trick. And I like it because it's got this little fuzzy on top. I guess it's so I can, you know, it's a windbreak. <laughs> As if it's really windy down here. It's not. So anyway, all right. I'm going to work on some faces, I think. But you know what? I might... You know, I'm, I think I'm going to work on faces on this little, you know, I love doing these little dots. And then each little dot is a different, or look, here's, I did the same thing in triangles. Here I was working on some faces here. See, I like doing the big eyes. I like it. I don't know. The little eyes aren't too bad, but I like the big eyes. So I'm going to work on some faces. I'm going to work on faces using this pen, which is a little scary for me, but I don't, here we go. <laughs> I'm just going to dive right in. And again, like I said, this is a, a book that I started in Taos 2022 and, and I'm still working through it. I mean, it's, it's kind of, um, it's, I think it was just too much. I th this, it was much better to, to be able to work in this little and this is easier to travel with, too, something this size. <clears throat> so, anyway, here I go. I'm working it. Oh, and here goes the fire engine. And <laughs> I don't know if you can hear my dog singing to the fire engines. It's a ritual. And nobody's up there to tell them to stop it. So, <laughs> all right, here we go. I'm going to start with the nose. Like I said, I like doing big eyes. I also like doing big, like, human eyes if I'm drawing animals. It's always interesting to me. The personalities that come out when you draw faces. I'm not hating it. <laughs> Bonjour from France. Great to catch up with you. Oh, hey, welcome from France. What time is it in France right now? I guess it would be, uh, I think you guys are four hours, five hours ahead. So it'd be two or three in the afternoon, maybe. All right, we're going to do another face. Now that's interesting, doing the pupils kind of long like that. That's a totally different look, right? <laughs> Interesting. Okay. I don't want to overwork it. Yeah, I, I, I don't know. It, I'm going to try some small eyes. See what I think. 4 p.m. Okay, that's not bad, right? That's like uh, high tea. <laughs> Time for high tea. All right. I 
and try some a little wise. See, I'm not loving the little eyes. I think it's because the big eyes look so much more up close and personal, right? Maybe that's why I like them much better. Hmm. Let's play some more big eyes. I like doing it, working with this big pen, this big brush pen. And the more I work with it, the, the more used to it I get. And I'm liking the not necessarily having a super round pupil. Look how much more inviting it got when I filled in her lips, made her smile bigger. Huh. <laughs> Many faces. Thank you. Yeah, it's really interesting because it's so, they each end up having personalities. I like the I like doing this dot exercise type thing because I it's a great way to just do some you know kind of give bounds around doing a quick little uh you know just exercise with mark making so and faces is something I usually put off working on but I like doing them. I said, I like doing, like, here, I'm going to draw. I'm going to go to, now that I've practiced a little bit on these faces, let me go to a different page. And do, let's see, probably at the beginning I have some. Here we go. Let's do it here. I like doing things like, okay, I'm going to draw, draw fish. A big creepy fish. <laughs> Let's see, what would his fin look like? <laughs> I could do a cat. I like doing cat faces. Now, sometimes when your pet just stares right at you and you can see their personality.
Now you see, it's interesting too, because this is a jelly plate printed. I love the eyes. Thank you. Yeah, the eyes make it look more personal, more personable. I mean, it's kind of like, I feel like, um, let me go back to this spread. You know, you, you're seeing more personality with the bigger eyes than you are with the little ones, which I think is interesting. And same with, <laughs> same with the, like, the fish. All right, I'm going to go back. Well, no, let's stick with this pen. It feels like it's too big to do fine textures, but let me see how I would do fine textures. I like because the brush varies the thickness just a little bit. But I can get the very tip in there and get some fine bits. And that's another thing, too, with these backgrounds. It's kind of fun to go in and... And just draw over it as if it was a white page. Because then you end up getting some interesting, some interesting line breaks in there. And textures, like this fish. I think the textures from the jelly plate printing on the back kind of mimic fish skin, you know, as it's swimming through the water. <laughs> I had this cat that had, it was a tuxedo cat. And he had these gigantic white whiskers. I used to say it was, and I don't, I used to say it was the Yosemite Sam of whiskers. <laughs> and Yosemite Sam, if you don't know, is a, I don't know if today, if today's kids would know who Yosemite Sam is. Um, but yeah, he was, he had those gigantic whiskers. And they would glint off the sun if I took a picture of he was sitting in the sun and I took a picture of him. Now let's do a fish going this way. It's a fish with heavy eyeliner <laughs> and little bitty lips. Not like in this fin, but it's kind of beating up over the washi tape. Maybe I'll go back and cut him out of fin. Huh. I'm wondering if I could. Let's try that now. Let's see what I got. I've got, got all this washi paper that I had made the other day. See if there's a a piece that I'm not. Then uh, you know what? This piece isn't that precious. 
Now let's do that. All right. Let's just try cutting out the fins. Like that. There we go. Hey, if you don't like something, then just cover it up. That's not covering that up very well. What if I, what if I did this? Okay, let's try something else. And then I can do It's not covering it up very well. What if we added another layer to it, like a fighter fish? <laughs> yeah, maybe that's what that is. It's just a It's starting to take up the paper. That's not good. Oh, the paint on the tape. That's interesting. <laughs> All right, let's see. Let's go with that one. Oops. There, so it, oh, it still doesn't want to hold down here. There. Stay. <laughs> Let's close this up. I'm not using the paints. 
might have to do some better gluing down there. But this, I want it to be, let's see, maybe more like that. There we go. And then a big, go back and do that fin a little bigger. Okay. And go back over that line. Did I just smear his cute little lips? <laughs> Maybe. There we go. <laughs> right on. All right. Cats and fish. <laughs> That's fun. And still room to do another something there down here and put today's date on there I don't always date my stuff I try to I mean, mostly just for a point of reference. I hate that this, this washi tape, it's making that ink smear a little bit because it's staying really wet. It's not soaking in. Like I said, the when I do um, jelly plate printing, even though that's, you know, acrylic, like it's it's not drying over some of this thicker paint areas. But where it's just normal, the jelly plate gives the paper a little bit of a tooth. And, and the ink seems to be, doesn't beat up on it. But some of the areas where it's thicker, it does. Anyway. All right, kids. I am going to skedaddle. And I will see you guys back here tomorrow. All right. Make art. Do good things. Talk to you later. <laughs>